In this video, I'll show you how to use Python and Selenium on your mobile phone. If you have Android phone or if you have iPhone, you can run Python and Selenium absolutely free. So regardless of the device you are using, if you have Chrome or any other browser installed in your mobile phone, you can still use Python and Selenium on your mobile phone. So it gives you a lot of power to practice Python. It's obviously very convenient if you can access your Python code and Selenium automation codes anywhere, wherever you go. If you are traveling or working or you are eating something, you can still have access to your mobile phone. So you can still access, practice and uh, master your Python, polish your Python skills you will be able to practice Selenium on your mobile phone uh, without having to purchase any application. This is absolutely free. All right, uh, let's start. If you have Android or iPhone, just don't worry about it. Any other phone works uh, as long as you have uh, Chrome or any other browser in it. So here I'm using iPhone. So let's uh, open my browser here. Uh, in this case, it is uh, Safari. So go now uh, I'm going to do is that I'm going to search Colab. Sorry, Colab. And uh, this is the uh, search link, which is colab.research.google.com. Hit enter, and uh, it will take you to the uh, colab uh, notebook. Okay, so this is how it is going to look like. So make sure that you have a similar uh, window open. And um, uh, remember that uh, if you are opening this for the first time, you will not have these files. Over here so uh, all you need to do is go to uh, look here there is new notebook button just uh, click on that and uh, it is going to open a new notebook for you so wait a little bit uh, until it loads all right as you can see that we have a new notebook here it is very similar to Jupyter notebook if you are using Jupyter notebook or you have used before uh, you will find a lot of similarities with that it is basically a notebook uh, that we call the Google Colab Anyways, uh, if you look here on the right corner over here, uh, you will see connect button. Just click on that. It's going to allocate some resources for you, uh, some RAM and disk so that you can run your Python code in this. So uh, remember that this uh, is not just about uh, Selenium. You can run any Python code. You can practice Python. You can learn Python on your mobile phone. This is really good, powerful tool that uh, you can use on the go. If you are doing whatever you are doing, you can simply uh, use this one. Okay. Now uh, I have this cell. Uh, if you want to install libraries in this uh, Colab notebook, just uh, type sign exclamation and after that, uh, just install using pip that you would usually do in your terminal. So what I'm going to do is uh, pip install Selenium. And click on this button, this play button over here. All right, as you can see that uh, our Selenium is installed in our Google Colab, uh, but unlike our, our desktop computer or MacBook or any other computer, uh, where we usually, what we usually do is that we download a Chrome driver from, uh, you know, their official website. And after that, we set that path in our default path or system path, or we set that path into our webdriver.com. And that way, we, whenever we execute that, it launches the uh, Chrome driver for us. But uh, in this case, what we need to do is we need to bypass uh, certain things to make sure that our Selenium works on our Colab uh, and launches and uh, we are able to execute our, our uh, Selenium commands. All right, to do that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste some uh, shell commands over here and uh, that uh, I will add, uh, uh, you know, a link so that you can uh, go there and copy paste them in your code, in your cell collapse cell and that will work just fine okay as you can see that these are the shell commands that uh, uh, will do the trick for us you know so which means that uh, it is going to set up an environment uh, for us so that we can install chromium browser and uh, web driver in our in our machine in our college okay so these are the commands that i'm going to use i'll add a link in my video description so that you can go there and copy these commands as well just copy and paste them in your shell it will these commands will download uh, and uh, install some of the libraries and packages in your google collab uh, instance and uh, after that you will be able to install from uh, chromium web driver and uh, you know the browser as well and otherwise you don't do that it's not going to run so all right uh, now I'm going to click on this play button and it's going to, you know, run all the commands. And uh, what it's, it's doing is that it's first uh, adding a Debian buster and after that adding some keys and uh, 
some repositories as well. Okay, uh, all right, now I think it is complete. All right, if you look here, this there is a tick, green tick, which means our, uh, you know, code is concluded. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and uh, let's create a new shell first, sorry. New cell first, click on this. All right, as you can see that we have got our new cell. And uh, what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to update apt get uh, package, and uh, which is basically built in, uh, package inside Linux that is used for installing libraries and packages in our Linux environment. Anyways, let's update that. apt get update. This command is going to update the apt get package just like you update your pip command, okay? This is, very, uh, this is similar to that. All right. Uh, okay, uh, let me just remove this so that uh, to clear some logs and clear our screen. Okay, this is gone. Now we have this shell command left. All right, as you can see that uh, this is done. This is complete as well. Let's uh, remove this one as well. And now I'm going to install Chromium browser and uh, Chromium web driver so that uh, we can use it with Selenium to launch our uh, to install Chromium, just type Chromium. And uh, to install Chromium browser, I'm going to do is I'm going to pro type Chromium. Right. Okay, just click on this play button. And it's going to install Chromium. Okay, beg your pardon, I need to mention install as well. Install. And play again. Once you click on there, it's going to uh, install. First, it's, it's going to install Chromium, and after that, it's going to install Chromium browser. Okay, so uh, it is all done, which means that we are ready uh, ready to use our Chromium browser uh, for our Selenium package. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some options. Remember that this is not a GUI based uh, interface. Uh, the Linux is a command line based interface, so it is not going to launch any pop up any browser. So we need to make sure that we uh, disable certain things to, uh, you know, disable uh, GPU and disable headless and make sure that we are using headless and there are a couple of other uh, security features as well that we need to disable for Chrome driver, nothing to worry about. And uh, that is how we are going to use Selenium. Anyways, uh, let's create a new cell here. Uh, next thing is that I'm going to, let's just rotate the screen so that you can have a better visibility here. All right, uh, let's go to our cell. Next thing is I'm going to add some options in our uh, Chrome web driver to make sure that uh, some certain features are disabled and uh, our Chrome driver does not try to pop up a new window because Linux is uh, basically, as I said before, is, a, is not a GUI based uh, interface. It's command line based, so we have to make sure that we have disabled certain things to make sure it works on uh, Linux. Server. Anyways, uh, let's uh, create a function for that. Let's first import from Selenium. Import, sorry, import web driver. Execute that. Now let's create a new cell. And here I'm going to, you know, uh, first create a function. Uh, you can name it anything that you want. I'm going to call it uh, define web driver and score driver. And inside of that, I'm, I'm going to import options from web driver. First options equal to web uh, driver dot, sorry, options. And it's supposed to be Chrome options, so let's use Chrome options. I'm going to use because I'm using Chrome, uh, Chromium web driver, which is uh, same as Chrome. So I'm going, I'm using Chrome options. If you're using, uh, you know, Firefox or any other, make sure that you use the relevant options. Anyways, uh, let's create, let's add some arguments here. Options dot add argument, and uh, first argument is supposed to be verbose. And uh, make sure that you keep the keep the order correct. First one uh, is supposed to be verbose because if you don't add that in this order, it's going to raise an error, and uh, uh, you don't want to get that. Anyways, uh, for the next uh, argument, it's supposed to be argument no sandbox sandbox. 
and this is basically a security feature so make sure that you disable that uh, and because we don't have any uh, you know the GUI in Linux so we don't need to add uh, you know add a pop-up that would uh, usually you know create a open a open a window in uh, this case we are going to disable that part as well so for that just add headless and uh, now I'm going to also disable GPU in the end uh, one last argument here all right now uh, let's create our uh, driver here driver is to webdriver.chrome and uh, inside that let's uh, sorry call options equals to options now i'm going to return the driver here and uh, click on the player button it's going to load this function let's create a new shell uh, new cell click on this plus button again okay let's call our driver here uh, first make sure that you import uh, well, we make sure that you have uh, uh, like okay we did import selenium before so we are good let's call our driver driver equals to web driver and make sure that uh, you call this function okay web underscore driver let's execute this and see uh, our, our driver has set up correctly but i think there's something wrong mm. real object is not callable all right i think we made a mistake here okay this is supposed to be webdriver.chrome okay let's load it again and try to execute this okay we are all set as you can see that driver didn't raise an error which means that we are uh, our driver has launched successfully now uh, we can automate our, uh, our tasks as well as we can do web shopping as well so let's create a new shell and try to get a link to do that just type driver.get and inside of that uh, this time i'm going to uh, just get uh, google www.google.com click the play button and it's going to is going to uh, like uh, load google.com in our driver now let's create a new cell and see what uh, we have got as a response now now driver.get sorry driver dot paid source so type driver dot page source click the play button and uh, you will see all the response that we got after getting this link as you can see that we have all pretty much all the uh, you know the text that we were supposed to get as a response uh, it is displaying uh, much less than that uh, there is there actually is so to see all of it just click on this three, three dots over here or you want to copy it just copy that by clicking on this uh, copy pop up anyways this is how you uh, use selenium in google collab uh, this is really a useful tool uh, if you think about it you can uh, use uh, selenium or you can practice python anywhere that, anywhere where you want and uh, you can access your code if you are practicing python you can access the same code anywhere on your mobile phone on your uh, laptop or, or any other device that you are using all right so now i'm going to simply uh, close this session of driver so to do that just type driver dot quit and uh, this is it uh, this is going to create the driver so this is all for today thanks for watching so make sure that uh, remember that this selenium uh, automation is not supposed to automate anything on on your uh, mobile phone so this uh, this whole tutorial purpose of whole tutorial is to make sure that uh, you can practice your selenium and python on your mobile phone but you cannot automate by a mobile task mobile phone tasks using selenium anyways uh, thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit a like button